In class activity two, given the following state variable model, find the transfer function model for the system with the state variable feedback. Since there are two states, we want to design the system by setting the characteristic polynomial to an arbitrary second order polynomial. Is this possible? So once again, the first thing we're going to do is to find A tilde. A tilde is equal to A minus BK, which is equal to 1, 0, 0, 0 minus 1, 1 times K1, K2, which equals 1 minus K1, negative K2, negative K1, negative K2. And next we're going to find B tilde. B tilde is equal to B times GPF or GPF, GPF. C tilde, once again, is equal to C, which is 1, 2. So the first thing we find is SI minus A tilde, which is S, 0, 0, S, minus 1 minus K1, negative K2, negative K1, negative K2, which equals S minus 1 plus K1, K2, K1, S plus K2. SI minus A tilde inverse is equal to 1 over S minus 1 plus K1 times S plus K2 minus K1, K2 times S plus K2, negative K2, negative K1, S minus 1 plus K1. And now we find the transfer function, G of S, which is C tilde, SI minus A inverse times B tilde, which equals 1 over the characteristic equation, delta of S, times 1, 2, times S plus K2 minus K2, negative K1, S minus 1 plus K1, times GPF, GPF, And that all simplifies to GPF times 3S minus 2 over S squared plus the quantity K1 plus K2 minus 1 times S minus K2. So once again, we answer the same question. Is it possible to select gains in order to set this equi equal to an arbitrary polynomial? which means placing the poles anywhere that we would like. So we set it equal to S squared plus A1S plus A naught, and we solve for K1 and K2, and we get that K2 is equal to negative A naught, and K1 is equal to A1 plus A naught plus one. So it is possible to select gains for any arbitrary polynomial. So once again, we deduce that this is a controllable system. So now let's start the final activity for today's lecture. Given the following state variable model, find the transfer function model for the system with state variable feedback. Since there are two states, we want to design the system by setting the characteristic polynomial to an arbitrary second order polynomial. Is this possible? So once again, the first thing we do is we find A tilde equal to A minus BK. And that equals, and we'll skip some steps this time because we've now seen this a couple of times, 1 minus k1, negative k2, negative 2k1, 1 minus 2k2, b tilde, which is equal to b gpf, is equal to gpf 2 
GPF. C tilde is equal to C, which is three, four. And once again, D tilde is zero. SI minus A tilde is equal to S minus one plus K one, K two, two K one, S minus one plus two K two. SI minus A tilde inverse is equal to one over S minus one plus two K two times S minus one plus K one minus two K one K two times S minus one plus two K two negative K two negative two K one S minus one plus K one. And finally, the transfer function, which is C tilde SI minus A tilde inverse times B tilde is equal to 11 GPF times S minus one over S minus one plus K one plus two K two after simplification. And what you should notice here is that this transfer function has one pole and it's at one minus K one minus two K two. So if you try to set the characters equation equal to some arbitrary second order polynomial such as S squared A one S plus A naught, there is simply no way to place two different poles because this is now a first order characteristic equation. So you would say that this system is not controllable. And this concludes today's lecture on state variable feedback and transfer functions.